Hey guys, we're Shear Force Team 21235, and today we're going to show you how to connect a Husky lens to a control hub. You won't need any wiring harness or anything, uh, just the Husky lens, a wire, and a robot. First off, go to the Rev Robotics website and search for the control hub. Click on the first option, then scroll down until you find the user's manual. Open that up and use the menu and go to port pinouts. After opening that up, you're looking for the I2C configuration in the blue box, which is incorrectly labeled as 12C in the manual. You see that the order is from left to right, ground or negative, positive, data and clock line, or black to red to white to blue, left to right. But keep in mind that not all wires contain the same colors, but they are in the same configuration. Unless you're DF Robot, then it's got to just be a little extra difficult. Next, go to DF Robot's website. In the search bar, search for Husky Lens, and you should find Gravity Husky Lens. Scroll down, and you'll find in Documents a document called the Product Wiki. Navigate to 3.1 connectors and see that the wires are positive, negative, clock, data. If you put those side by side, then you see that pins 1 and 2 need to be swapped, and pins 3 and 4 need to be swapped. To swap the pins, you will need a very small, sharp tool and some hands. First, on the Husky Lens end of the wire, on the back of the connector, use your sharp tool to lift up the tab of the first, blue or clock wire, and slide the wire out. Next, lift up the tab for the second, white or data line, and remove the pin. Then, you just swap them. Make sure that the wires are pushed fully into their slots and are properly connected. They should click into place. Then repeat the process to swap the third and fourth wires. The finished product should look like this. Now you should be ready to connect the Husky lens to the control hub. Plug the Husky lens into any ITC port except port 0, which by default contains the IMU. Now, on your phone or driver hub, click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner and select Configure Robot. You can either edit your current configuration or create a new config for Husky Lens testing. So, click on Control Hub Portal, then select Control Hub, scroll down to the I2C ports. Again, the Azero port contains the IMU, so don't put your Husky Lens in that one. Select the I2C bus port that corresponds to the port that you plug the Husky Lens into on your Control Hub. At the top of the screen, click Add. From the drop down menu, select Husky Lens and enter a device name. I believe the default device name is Husky Lens, one word in all lowercase. You can name it anything you want, but this name corresponds to the device name in the example programs provided by first. Now, just click done, then done again, then done one more time for good measure. Finally, make sure to save and name your configuration. Congrats! You're ready to start programming with your Husky Lens. Thanks for watching and feel free to comment below if you have any questions.